Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will implement uh, changing the status of uh, the to-do items we have inside our plan. So we can mark the item as checked this way, this one also, and vice versa. So let's get started. Now to start, I will have to change the property value to bind value this way. So when I change this, it affects the property of the checkbox and vice versa. Now, I have to create the function that's responsible for that. Here, update the status of the item. Async task change item status async. Set as busy to true to false. Okay. Now var result await item service dot change item state async and we have to pass only the ID of the item item ID. Okay. I don't have to take uh, <clears throat> any action if the process is succeeded but if it failed I have to show an alert message okay that's it it's pretty simple now as you can see here I haven't passed any uh, true or false or the current status because actually what the API does is it takes uh, the item via this ID then it checks its status if it's true it turns it into false and if it's false it turns it into true so okay now so in this way while I'm not interested in the current value which is true or false I will use the click event on click then call the function update or edit what it called update item maybe I mistyped it change item status async sorry and paste it here and pass the ID of the item from this variable okay great now we can test that but before I want to disable all the buttons on the screen with the is busy indicator so the delete button and the submit busy so okay this one as well is busy equals Sorry, disabled equals to as busy. Great. Now let's test that. Okay, go to plans. Edit. Great. Here I have two uh, items. So I want to check this one. This item is done. Great. This one as well. Amazing. Now let's go back and open it again. As you can see, the items has been marked as done. I want to do something else um, or addition, a new thing. If this item is marked as done, I want to put a line in the middle of this text. So to do so, here I will create a variable called style or description style. Okay. It's a text decoration line line through like this. This one only if item dot is done. Otherwise, it is this way, text 
integration line none. Okay. Now for the span here, I'll set style. Let's do description style. Okay, great. Now we can test that again. Okay. Okay, very great. This is what we want to see. Now if I mark this item as undone, you can see. Now in the next video, we are going to implement edit, editing the item. We can select the item here, uh, type a new description, then click submit. So we can update it and click this one to clear the selection and clear also the description here. Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to support us with a like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video.